topic today is about Thanksgiving. People around the world gather with their families in the evening and eat lots of yummy food like turkey, ham, mashed potatoes and gravy, rolls, and other delicious foods. Some people call Thanksgiving, they either call it Thanksgiving, Pilgrim's Day, or Turkey Day. Now with the weather forecast with Emily. Hey guys, welcome to the weather report. Now on Monday, AM showers with 47 degrees and 50% of rain. Brr. So get ready for some rain. Tuesday, mostly cloudy with um, 53 degrees. Now on Wednesday, AM clouds with PM sun and 58 degrees. Now on Thursday, mostly cloudy with 55 degrees. And Friday, partly cloudy with 49 degrees. Thank you for watching the re weather report. Now back to Sierra and Brooke. Our next topic is staying active during the winter time. Brooke, would you mind telling us a little bit about that? Sure. Hello, winter is coming and you need to have at least 60 minutes of physical activity every day and about over 1,000 steps a day, which means getting exercise and not too much TV and video games because it is not exercise. Mm -mm. But the stuff you can do are like going ice skating or snowboarding, baking with your family. What other stuff do you think could be a good activity, Sierra? Well, I know that when I stay active during the winter time, I go out with my family, I get dressed up all nice and warm, and I get my sled, and we all slide down, go sledding down the big hill at my house. And we build snow forts, snowmen, and we throw snowballs, we have snowball fights. It's really fun, and we have, we go for a little walk in the snow. What do you do with your family, Emily? I like to do in my winter time is go sledding, snowboarding, and skiing, having fun in the snow. Nice. Our next topic is the habit of mind, thinking flexibly. When students think flexibly, they sometimes have to be really stubborn about their goals, and but they still have to be flexible about their methods. They have to be open to brand new ideas, too. When students think backwards, forwards, upside down, and in circles, they do that to generate new ideas, and I know they are thinking flexibly because they are demonstrating intelligent behavior. I think that Thinking flexibly is for students being able to think in their own creative ways and just they just have to get creative. My question is, do all students and people worldwide think flexibly? I think people can think flexibly as much as they can. And sometimes they don't even know that they're thinking flexibly. Are you thinking flexibly? Well, I know when it comes to math and like science and when I'm doing animation, I do have to think flexibly. And so I try as hard as I can to think flexibly. Do you think flexibly? I think I think flexibly during math, reading, and science and during our specials. Nice. Thank you for watching the Wilder Newscast. Bye!